Hi everyone, we're here with Nigel Deese, the man of the moment. Today, this weekend, we've got the fastest mini in the world. Well Nigel, tell us about it. Well, well thanks. How did it all start? And well, thanks for inviting me to have a quick word. Um, where did it all start? It started 30 years ago at uh, Silverstone, so fantastic grid back in the day and yeah, made ITN news um, and my involvement has been over the last four years or so. My first race was in 2019 and from then onwards I kind of got involved with the organising and here we are today, the sun's shining, we've got the best grid in 25 years. In 22 I think they've got, is it 22 did you say it's 22? 22 can't yeah. I say, which is fantastic and do you know what, it's great for people to watch. Yeah. Well there's a good chance we can build a Mini that will, that will be eligible for it. Um, how much does the engine be? 300 pounds, which 300 is, quid. It, it is exceptional. Good. So the objective is, is to get as many people on the grid, affordable price, and it's down to one thing, it's our sponsors. Um, and without our sponsors, uh, it just wouldn't happen. Yeah, is there anyone you want to mention? Well, yeah, I think uh, our lead sponsors are Mini Spares. They get fantastic support. Um, kind of the world's leading supplier of mini parts so it kind of fits with the race oh, I think it? you could basically build a mini buying all the parts from then if you wanted to build one absolutely you? absolutely. Uh, I mean they manufacture a lot of their own stuff for themselves now I think yeah. as well don't they so yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's a credit to them really they're, they're a good company um, yeah that's it really uh, no, I just wanted to get a sort of brief well, overview of what's going on And uh, well I hope you get stuck into all the drivers and get, yeah, the, get their yeah. view on things yeah and, we will do we and appreciate then, you talking to us and please you know if you want to see the pictures of the race or videos go to our YouTube YouTube account or go to our Fast Mini World uh, website and yeah enjoy Tony hunting, yes. isn't it? Yes, yes. Tony hunting. I got it wrong. Yeah. A lot of people yeah. do. I just called you hunt before. No, that's not hunting. Yes. You got it right. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Now, you're in the fastest mini in the world as well, aren't you? We definitely yeah. are, yeah. And you're in Class C. C. Class so C. what defines Class C? I don't really know, because it's not to, it's not the classes I'd normally run it. Yeah. yeah. But it, it looks like it's... Um, 13, 80, 14, 60, yeah. there's four cars in that class. Uh, obviously no aero, obviously. No aero, um, sort of modified, not modified, but slightly modified. Yeah. Uh, well, um, what's your race in history? How did it all come about? I've, 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 I've raced with a, a classic sports car club oh, right, yeah. for yeah. about 15 years. Oh, cracking. Um, I raced with a friend called David and we had a, a 2002. Uh, and then I raced uh, another friend's car. Uh, a midget, and we went. We did spa oh. in a midget. Oh, spa in a midget. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, and it was fantastic. I've only ever done it once, and I'll re I'd love yeah. to do it again. Yeah. And then we bought this ten years ago as a rally car, and we've gradually converted it over to uh, as a, a mid-range competitive race car over the ten years. No, it looks, it's, it's cracking, it's cracking, and you're enjoying it. Yeah, it's Mabel the Mini. Mabel, that's Mabel it. the Mini. Yeah, you're saying Mabel. Right. <laughs> so it's got a Swift Tune sticker on it. So it has, it has now. It's just it's gone on there because yeah. Nick's just been over, actually. <laughs> but yes, it's a Swift Tune engine. Yeah, and it's they are still the best, I think, yes. to be fair. Yeah, as Nick does know his onions there. Yeah, Nick knows his stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, he's a racer as well, so you know it's going to be about his He's a quick peddler, is Nick. And how did Quali go yesterday? It was all right. I was expecting exactly exactly what it was uh, spoke to the, one of the guys with the space frame mini before we went and I said I'll just keep out of your way and that's what I did but we had we had a good we had a good I wasn't at the back I was 
fourth from the back or something with out of 24 I was, I was quite happy with that and probably the lowest power midi in the on the it's the grim factor you really enjoy yeah, it aren't yeah, you absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that's what yeah. this is days about and your favourite corner uh, we said Paddock Hill Bend yeah. Uh, yeah. but I do like I don't I think it's the one I, I do like is it I don't really remember all the bends of Brands Hatch, yeah. but it's Graham Hill bend at yeah, the bottom, and then the little yeah. switch that yeah. goes left to right. Yeah. I do like that one. Yeah, it's, it's the third it's season, and it comes up. I can't remember. The next yeah. one is up. up yeah. yeah, I'm yeah. terrible with them. I've been around probably oh, 60, 70 times. And I still don't know. Exactly, <laughs> we're all for it. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it's good. I hope it all goes well this afternoon. Thank you very much. And uh, and and. Yeah, it just enjoy, enjoy it. myself. Yeah. That's what I plan to do. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Thank you very Sorry. much. Thank, Thank you. Very much. Okay. Rudgington and Ollie Howe. Now, Pete, you built the car, didn't you? I did, yeah. Uh, space frame chassis. Yep. Class A, so free engine, aero. Yep, definitely. Um, could you tell us about the car? Yes. Yeah, it's scratch built from, from virtually nothing? Or? Pretty much scratch built. I bought it as a rolling shell, had a different engine, but I completely re-engineered it. It's got a Honda K20 engine in the front. Um... I designed all the suspension, uh, the chassis, really. Is it running adjustable anti-roll bars and things like that? or? Yeah, yeah, yeah you got adjustable anti-roll bar on the it, front. In the, in the car? The Can you do it in the car? Or no, or? No, no, no. And it's three-way adjustable dampers all round as well. I mean, yeah, yeah. And Ollie, how do you fit into this, this situation? You're obviously the driver. Well, I fit in. It's a very, <laughs> it's a very snug fit, to be honest. <laughs> um, I drove Pete's car 20 years ago in the fastest mini in the world. Oh, fantastic. Uh, but we had a fairy tale weekend, and we've always dreamt of doing it again. And Pete, particularly, has always dreamt of having a full space frame, so it evolved about four years ago, was it? Yeah, it is a beautiful car. Start it is, really. It's, it's one of the best-looking cars here, if not the best, I think, uh, to be fair. Um, so what's next for you now, Ollie? Are you going to run, run it again somewhere, or um, you've got to carry on racing? No, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not so if you want to hope. <laughs> hope to, hopefully, Peter get to take it out yeah. in the CSCC. Um, in the most sports level, go yeah. itself. Have you been around circuit yet, Pete, or not? I've no, uh, been around Landau, a small circuit. Yeah. yeah, done a few laps in it just to uh, shake it down a little bit. And it's uh, yeah. terrifyingly quick, is probably the way yeah. to put it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> can you imagine? But you got a pole, pole yesterday. I did get a pole yesterday. Um, you blacked out just a little bit today, didn't you? Yeah. It was a little bit unlucky. I think, I think we went slightly the wrong way. We, we tried to make it last longer, but we actually made it. Oh, okay. Was, was, that, was that more set up, was it? Or? Yes. Yeah. 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 Or, or a little bit and tyre pressure yeah. and things like that okay. we, we've gone a different route hopefully for the second one so it might last a bit longer so who might not be for the second one it was ex- exciting we've got some good footage of you going around the hairpin so it's been a pleasure speaking to you well, thanks for speaking to us and I hope it all goes well this afternoon thank, thank you very much thank you We're here with Harvey D. Harvey, good afternoon, good morning, isn't it? Well, still good morning, yeah. <laughs> well, it's a good start to the day, yeah, I think, exactly. for us anyway. Yeah. Yeah, would you mind telling people what's just happened? Uh, I managed to win the uh, first race in the fastest minute in the world. Um, had a bit of a ding dong with um, Ollie Howe, and um, he led for 
six or seven laps and I managed to get past him. That yeah. was a bloody good move. You timed that just right. Yeah, so yeah. Um, yeah, I was just following for a while, thought where I might have an advantage and uh, he's a very clean, safe driver, so I knew yeah. if I was a bit exposed, you know, yeah. he wouldn't take advantage. <laughs> take so. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right, we'd like to talk about the car, actually, because yeah. he haven't had a chance to, to, to really talk about it. I mean, because it's a pretty special thing. It is. Uh, I, I mean, was it built from scratch, uh, space frame chassis? Um, it was converted from a previous space frame car, um, but by the time we finished, very, very little was kept of the original car. Uh, predominantly the bodywork, really, which we had to modify as well. So, uh, yeah, it was, a, it was a big project. So is the, the back portion of the bodywork more or less standard, apart from the rear, rear arches? Yeah. And the front end is an extended bonnet? Yeah, we extended the front by it's probably a four inches. OK. In reality, we don't have to. We could move the radiator and things back, but um, it works, and it, it, uh, it and that's built that way, and it was well, good, isn't it? So, I think. so the engine, basically, is the Radical V8. Yeah, out so V8. So it's two yeah. hard boosts just... Yep, into a V8. Uh, gearbox are you running? It's an X track uh, world touring car uh-huh. gearbox. Yeah. So, it's a six speed sequential, yeah. uh, which we have converted to paddle shift because it's, it, it was a bit of hard work trying to hang on to the steering wheel yeah. and change gear at the same time. So. You don't have any issues with it, it changes, it's, it's brilliant. No, it's a brilliant gearbox. And what sort of horsepower are you running in it at the moment? It's 380 horsepower. Okay. Yeah, the suspension has got Olin's four way adjustable. Okay shock absorbers um, and push rod suspension on the front um, with up and lower wishbones uh, and it's got fairly sort of conventional up and lower wishbones on the back. We did have mini radius arms for quite a few years but uh, they were flexing uh, and uh, made the carpet unstable. Thank you. So we that now. Yeah. No, it's been absolutely brilliant. It's been a pleasure talking good. to you and good luck later on this afternoon. Hope you have a good race this afternoon. I hope to see you from the feet. Oh, we'll have a raft, then. We'll have a go. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. We've got to Jerry from Railroad again. Uh, what's your association with the fastest mini then, Jerry? Well, we um, we were approached by them to get involved with the fastest mini championship, and it seemed completely unhinged and totally and utterly bonkers. <laughs> but I thought, yeah, let's do something with these guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah no, it looks good. The stickers look good, actually. Be fair. They're, 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 I think yeah. the cars look yeah. better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They are quite awesome. I mean, we've got some with um, uh, Vauxhall Gates, our turbo engines in them. Uh, I think Harvey. Gates is a, a V8 uh, radical engine, yeah. well, it's a, which is engine. basically two higher yeah. booster engines <laughs> grafted together, which is yeah. just mega. Yeah, they are actually mad. Yeah, I mean, I don't, you know, I know it's, it's not a championship, but yeah, it's, it's something, something pretty special. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of engineering going on there, which is what we love. Yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, so we've got with some specs for engine and gearbox, and um, yeah, just developing so a relationship. Why, why are they sort of running in them because they're sort of high so, now you put me on the spot, haven't you? I can't remember. Um, yeah, I, I think they're running a 1060 in the engine, but it yeah. depends which engine it is. Yeah. The gearbox is running a 75 one quarter. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So are you planning to move in? Because we've got the Clio Cup as well, haven't we? I've got the Clio Cup. And we've yeah. obviously got one car with the, the mini, certain mini that's going to be uh, running with our oil. Yes, <laughs> and we've got the ATO guys as well, the Mark so guys. Yeah, we've we, we up with it the other week. They're running the oil, and they, they, they highly recommend it. Very, it. very impressed with it. Well, it's one of these things that we like one of those undiscovered little secrets. And when people do start running the product, they discover that it is really very, very good. Yeah. Um, interesting, talking to the guys in Germany, when you launch a brand in Germany, you've got to be better than everybody else. And that's what they hang their hat on. It's absolutely the best possible quality. Because it's sustainable as well, aren't they? Sustainable manufacture. Yeah. And next month, we've got some new plant-based products coming, which are really interesting. That'd be interesting. I'll be interested to use yeah. I think that'd be very yeah. good. Yeah, well, we're, we're, uh, nice. we're supporting the British karting team. Uh-huh. British Army karting team, sorry. And they've seen a power increase. Really? Yeah. So that's a, that's right, a sealed yeah. engine running controlled fuel, and the only difference is the oil, and they're now faster than everybody else. Yes, it's got also it's important. And it's environmentally friendly, yeah. sustainably manufactured, no fossils, no dinosaurs involved. 
<laughs> dinosaur free. Apart, apart from us, apart from us, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so the next step for Roland, have they, have they got a, you know a, a, a next step that they want to go to, or next deals step. or anything like that? No, um, it's all about developing new products, developing more sustainable products, more plant-based products. Um, obviously, the coolant side of the business is growing massively as well. Ah, so there's coolants as well. Yeah. So Rose, one of the few manufacturers of coolants. Most of the coolant manufacturers are the big chemical companies, people like BASF. Um, but Row actually manufacture the coolants in house. Oh right, because I can remember having a having a product that uh, protected my engine uh, that I used to use in the Renault Five. Uh, if it overheated, it would do a certain thing. Uh, I mean, is that something, or is that just an urban myth and it's just a sales pitch? I think there are quite a lot of products yeah. out there that make some quite interesting <laughs> yeah. claims. But, no, yeah. so we make conventional coolants and we make race coolants as well. Yeah. Okay. No, that's brilliant. Well, it's been lovely catching up with you. Good again. to see you as well. And, yeah. Uh, enjoy the rest of the afternoon. And you, Adam. Thank Good you. to see something very special look we've bumped into freddie hunt you did me well freddie what's going on what are you doing here raising minis <laughs> <laughs> raising minis apparently had with a lot of yeah. lot of minis it's yeah. great yeah and how did you get on uh not bad i mean i asked the old dear tires at paddock hill well exactly you know going to paddock i don't know how much yeah. tire temperature i've got i've got 100 other minis swarming around me and I was a little bit wet um, and I got mugged, got mugged a little bit I didn't want to you know, ruin it on the first lap so I'll be a bit need to be a bit more aggressive this yeah, afternoon so where did you finish in this race? I finished 10th started 11th so, so it's not yeah. so bad it's, you know, right, uh, yeah. yeah you could yeah, yeah I think I'm top 10 in a mini field of 30 plus cars I think that's and they're competitive and you've got to use each other to, and, mini, yeah, and you've got to use the yeah. air right, to, to, to pull you along you've got to use each other haven't you so yeah exactly pretty, yeah, bloody good fun yeah bloody good yeah <laughs> so what have you been doing with yourself? Yeah, you know, what racing have you been doing lately? Have you done any at all? Or? To be honest, very little. I haven't driven a car since over a year ago. Zan Zanvort and LMP3 was the last race. Oh, that's I did. right. I remember yeah. that. Yeah, yeah. Um, that, yeah. Was, that was, that was something a bit, wasn't it? Yeah, but it could have just it, we, we didn't have any enough practice and the setup wasn't great. And yeah, it, was, it wasn't a, it wasn't a very pleasant weekend. But prior to that, 2022 was a very successful season. Yeah. Um, but since that, I haven't really done much. No, no that's difficult. Isn't it? Exactly. So, yeah. You, have you got plans for next year or, or the rest of this year? Or? Uh, I have intentions. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have intentions. Yeah. Have intentions. No, I'm, I'm trying to get an entrance for for revival in a minute. Yeah, um, that'd be good. That'd, that'd, be, be, that'd be, be awesome. So I've never raced the revival. I really, 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 really like to. Um, and um, yeah. uh, there are some conversations we had possible um, Corentic stuff for next year. Yeah, um, maybe Bathurst. Oh, Bathurst. Oh, it's, man, it's, it's, high, Bathurst. it's high on the list, so. Oh, um, yeah, you've got to do Bathurst. That's something. Not getting younger, yeah. so I want to try and do it. Yeah, do that, yeah. <laughs> yeah, something there. Yeah, there's oh, yeah, that, something else, Bathurst. So, uh, Swift Tune Engine. Yep. Very capable. Yep. Happy. Yeah. So this afternoon. Well, your oyster. Yeah, pulls out, yeah. elbows out, be a bit more yeah. fierce at the yeah. start. Yeah. yeah, yeah, a bit more angry. Yeah, control depression, I think you call it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. yeah. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure talking to you. No, I and good luck this afternoon. Uh, it's a little bit of a short one, but um, yeah, thanks very much. And yeah, you're very welcome. Thank you. Cheers. And- <laughs> Can't get the cameraman these days, can you? No, it's like um, a, right. a bit of a bit of a yeah, bit of a time. Let's get cracking in. Yeah, sure. Where do we want to do? Right. Yeah, brilliant. Fantastic, brilliant. That is brilliant. He will be cheeky because he is all the time. And 